Welcome to Tell Show, Teens and Youth Life Edition. My name is Zakaria Mwigai and I'll be your host. And my cause today is... Timothy Masharia. Welcome to our show. Mr. Timothy, today we are handling one of the biggest topics that are affecting our 21st century youth. I agree. And this is about peers, mm. that is friends and such. No. Yeah, and uh, for that reason I want us to study one of uh, the greatest people in the history in terms of friendship. Mm. It has been written and put to record that is the friendship between David and, and, uh, and Jonathan. Yes. And uh, I'm going to read from 1 Samuel chapter 18 verse 1 and it says, After David had finished talking with Saul, Jonathan became one in spirit with David. Mm. And when you look at this verse, it says that they became one in spirit. That brings us to the point, what is friendship? What is, a, what is this thing about peers? Mm. Whereby there is oneness in spirit. Yes. You know, the other place where we talk about oneness in spirit is whereby we talk about a believer and the Holy Spirit. Mm. They become one in spirit. That yes. is the intimacy level. Yes. And you notice that peer, peers have a very critical part in a person's life, mm. right? Yes. And uh, for that reason, today we are going to be hosting uh, one of uh, the great guys, a mentor to many, a friend to many. Say a word of prayer before we start off. Okay. Uh, dear Lord, we come before you for this segment on the Lord God and for this show, Jesus Christ. We thank you for what you have made it to be in the name of the Lord. We ask of your knowledge, your Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, as we expound on the topic of peers, Lord, that it may be impactful in our lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Awesome. Yeah, and now we are going to invite Matthew Njogu. Njogu. Matthew Njogu, welcome. welcome to the show. Karibu. Welcome. Karibu sana. Santia, welcome. Santia. Just have a seat. Thank you. Have a seat. Matthew Njogu, how are you? I'm very fine, thank you. What were you confirming down there? Uh, how I am. <laughs> how it looks that you're fine. According, <laughs> to my, according to my view, it looks that you're yeah. fine. Yeah. How, do you feel? how do you feel being live on TV? Tensed, mm, and also tensed. it's an amazing opportunity. Awesome. It's we an thank amazing God. It's yeah. an amazing opportunity. Now, yeah. today we are handling the topic of uh, peers. Tell us, uh, what, you, what do you think about peers and uh, peer pressure in general? Well, uh, as I was working here, uh, I, I, I asked myself the same question, what is peers and also on our topic, peer pressure. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, something came in my mind and I've learned that peer pressure is not just pressure but it is a, a pressurized influence mm -hmm. someone receives yeah. from the world around him including the people of his or, or, or of the same age mm. yeah even the family members the relatives <laughs> and, you know the environment the church itself, exactly the, the world around yeah. us it has a, a, a way of pressurizing us mm -hmm. or, uh, or rather influencing us yes. to make decisions mm -hmm. and, and behave in a certain way mm -hmm. wow, wow. Yeah. yeah now uh, now what do you think is the impact of uh, peer pressure whether negative or positive to the 21st century youth and team well the the the, the impact mm -hmm. of, of peer pressure especially the positive impact is amazing yes it's amazing when you the, like the, like the opening verse that you've read for us about david and jonathan yeah. the, the the guys were were wonderful friends and it was one of uh i was learning also that if jonathan wouldn't have stepped down for david to sit on the throne then oh, yeah. It wouldn't David wouldn't have been a king. True, so yeah. you see, the <laughs> pressure we receive from friends can, mm. that can be uh, the, the pressure to do good and also the pressure that is godly mm. uh, is amazing. As well as also the, 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 the pressure we receive that is negative has a way of breaking us. It is breaking it us to, to, to and reduce us to nothing. Yes. Yeah. Now, true. when we talk about being nothing, well, can you please expound to us to, so as we can be able to understand what you mean by uh, negative peer pressure reducing us to feel like nothing and such well uh, it becomes a jail oh it jail. becomes a jail locks you mm. and jail. and and this hinders man from walking in his full potential True. let's say i'm called to be a singer mm. and my friends are not in support of me singing mm. then I, I may end up not not truly becoming a singer to please my friends yeah. and this mm. may this is like taking a fish 
out of the water yeah. and uh, giving it the task of climbing a tree. True. It I will love die. That. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Man, you, you uh, got a word. You got the word. <laughs> Especially mm. when you talk about uh, jail. You know, when mm. it comes to when you're talking about the fact that uh, peer pressure being a jail, you know, it it kinds of conforming people to a exactly. certain yeah, Exactly. Yes, yes. Yep. Such. Wow. Yeah. I like that. And why why do you think it is becoming so rampant, especially when it comes to the negative side of it? Because mm. when we look at the statistics currently, they are ac they are actually very worried. Very, we very worried. So many things. We have music that is so vulgar, so dirty, mm. and it has gotten to a point whereby it is there, even on uh, national TV. Mm -hmm. They mm. air it, you find a whole segment of two hours they are talking. It is just vulgar, Secular, dirty language, dirty songs. And uh, what do you think is, uh, why is it becoming so rampant, according to you? Well, uh, well it, it's, uh, it, it's, uh, it's one of, the, the question you've asked is one of the reasons why even as a country, mm. we are falling. It is we, are, we, are, we are falling, we are failing, we are, we are, we are being held stagnant. Mm. Because uh, the exposure, mm. I, I, I would say now, the reason why it's becoming so rampant is that this generation now is so much exposed that mm. it now becomes a hindrance mm. also for us to walk in our full potential mm. as human beings. Yes, yes. We are being exposed to social media at an mm. early age. It's not bad, but keeping in mind that uh, we are, uh, to a child who is not yet fully formed in the wisdom to choose, yes. I it becomes a problem. Mm -hmm. It becomes a problem because if you want any junk, go to the social media. <laughs> Wow. Any wow. junk, wow. it is there. Oh my God. Pornography. Oh my God! You know? <laughs> I love any junk. Go to I the social it. media. It's it there. True. Pornography. It's true. Social. Uh, no. Uh, how is it called? Uh, people are being bullied online. Oh yeah, yeah. especially when it comes to cyber bullying. Cyber bullying, bullying. Exactly. That's the word. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Cyber bullying uh, uh, and 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 the things that are negative. They are there. And so, to uh, one of the things that becomes a, a reason why uh, the peer pressure and uh, uh, the negative side of it mm. becomes so <laughs> rampant mm -hmm. is because of the exposure. We are too much exposed and it's at one point yes. it becomes a stumbling block to this generation, mm. the exposure. Mm. Wow. Mm. Now, speaking of uh, exposure, how do you think that we can handle the issue of exposure? Because the truth is mm. we are in a 21st century generation wow. and uh, we cannot live like a 19th century people, mm -hmm. whereby everything is digital. Mm -hmm. Very soon we'll be even hearing, you know, some time back, a child having a phone in school was an issue. Very mm -hmm. soon I think it will be made almost compulsory I know. to have one. <laughs> like right mean, now, uh, if you look at this corona season, mm -hmm. we have a lot of uh, online studying mm -hmm. and parents are buying the best of phones for even Teenage, uh, not, not teenagers, but for toddlers mm. because they need to access these things. Mm. And uh, the truth is, we cannot ignore the fact that there is growth, there is change in the society and how mm. we handle things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So according to you, how do, we go, how do we run this exposure? How are we able to take control of it? Wow, I'm, I'm amazed of the, because of the question. <laughs> I'm loving it. I'll answer well, it. <laughs> as host, we love how you, your company right here. You know. <laughs> thank you, yeah, thank you. The words you use, wow. Uh, the you. vocabulary, wow. Uh, it's just so awesome. It's called killer vibes. <laughs> <laughs> I say no more. No, I uh, say no more. Well, uh, I say no more. I'll yeah. say, yeah. I'll say, personally, uh, 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 I'm, I'm a born again awesome, believer awesome. Amen, in amen. Christ Jesus. Awesome. And one of the things my Bible tells mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. about God is that he gives people the power to choose mm -hmm. and the wisdom to choose. Wow. Please, <laughs> rewind it. <laughs> God. Rewind it. Uh, God. I, I need to hear that. Please, please rewind that again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm flattered. <laughs> oh my, you're flattered. Well, uh, oh my. Uh, tell us. Uh, uh, I'll say, mm -hmm. God gives us the power to choose yeah. and the wisdom to choose. To choose so, Phones are not a problem, mm. but the question is, mm. are we wise enough to handle our phones and, re uh, and still our values remain intact? intact? Friends are not a problem, mm. but the question is, are we able to relate and not be conformed to that nature? The power to choose so and the so wisdom to choose. That's a, that's a good food for <laughs> thought, you know? Well, it's a big thing, especially when you talk about power 
and uh, wisdom mm. wow it it now becomes a mm. big topic and uh, wow. according to you mm-hmm. we've had we've we've just spoken about the complaints from the older generation okay. and uh, they normally say out of our squeeze out of our squeeze well uh, i, what I do you think is their contribution to the whole thing about negative peer pressure especially speaking about negative peer pressure mm-hmm. I, 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 wow you see in my church mm. in our where fellowship where it's fellowship just, new I, life I need to go to that <laughs> <church>. <laughs> new life new life mission church where rongai oh, rongai oh rongai God. well what we learn is that i should not just point to the error if mm. i will not correct the error wow. so in pointing out the error you also need to contribute in the in the correcting okay. can part. You, can you mm-hmm. repeat we, we this, is, this, is, this is so <laughs> it's getting so hot uh, over here. I, I, I wow. think our producers will have to get us some fun. <laughs> I, I think we need some fun. Yeah, it's getting uh, really hot. Uh, well, really hot. well uh, le- le- let us let us not just talk about the the errors of people, mm. especially from our parents mm. and, and the previous generation. Let them support us mm. instead of just saying ah nje unaenda ni mbaya mm-hmm. sasa okay. unaniambia nje yenye naenda ni mbaya what are you doing about it yeah. you know you need to unisaid yeah. but if you can cor- help me help me see the right way mm. power to choose and wisdom, wisdom, wisdom to choose oh my god <laughs> 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 the, so oh, we, <laughs> the summary of the exactly of the exactly power of choice and the wisdom of in the in the choice yeah, exactly wow and uh, let me ask you mm-hmm. now when it comes when it comes to, uh, we are discussing about the older generation and the older people we have the part of schools mm-hmm. and uh, the the institutions that is the churches mm-hmm. and, uh, other public places mm-hmm. political as in all these institutions all together mm-hmm. what is their contribution when it comes to negative peer pressure because we we've, we've stayed in a generation whereby most of the things that we do and uh, they are well criticized they are, we have very good critics mm. but when it comes to the solution side of it the institutions that have been put in place are not able to to to, to bring in the solutions as you have stated mm-hmm. now according to you what is their contribution and how mm. should they try to resolve the whole thing all right uh no one begins with a bad desire True. True. no one begins with a bad desire uh-huh. but in our pursuit of, of, of in our give in our endeavors mm-hmm. we may fall astray we may go astray mm-hmm. we all begin with a good desire mm-hmm. someone wanted to play football and then went and met a coach mm-hmm. introduced him to a team kumbe the coach was gay and the team itself was full of gay now the question is is that person uh, the one with the problem no it is the environment mm. so knowing that we all begin with the, the right desire mm. but do, uh, in the long run yes. now we we lose ourselves now this is where the our parents people that are well endowed in wisdom mm. comes in handy endowed because in wisdom. endowed in wisdom because they have the cap- god given G- let's call it gift mm. because it's something that your parent may not go may, may not have been able to to go to school mm. may not have been a pastor or any other person w- 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 in high high professions yes. but god has given them a wisdom to instruct a wisdom, to, wisdom to instruct exactly so this is where now uh, we we have we have these people uh, our mentors, our um, pastors, our m- parents come in handy to support us. Let choose. me cut you short. Uh-huh. Um, we, it's, it's a great honor to have you as our guest. I you appreciate it. Matthew Njogu. Matthew Njogu. You go to New Life Mission Church. Rungai. You're welcome once again. Mm. It, it has been quite an enjoyable show. I, I think you need to come many more times. <laughs> so I wish you take us away on a break. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, uh, br- right. tea break lunch break <laughs> oh my <laughs> no, what are those oh my god <laughs> and it's it's been a wonderful session. i just love you i just love you your, your <laughs> humor uh, you very much that has been matthew njogu for us in the first segment well wait for us in the next segment we'll be having another ho- another person to answer the questions and as we discuss this big topic about peers thank you very much
In this second segment, we'll be talking about, we'll be looking at how peer pressure can be solved, the negative peer pressure can be solved. So for this time, for this segment, help me welcome Mr. Pastor Belik Kidiavai <laughs> to the stage. Welcome, Pastor. Welcome, Pastor. Hey, <laughs> how, you, how do you feel, Pasi? I'm feeling cool. Uh -huh. You're feeling cool. I'm cool. cool. Can you give us a brief introduction of yourself? Yes. Uh, my name is Pastor Belek Diavai. Mm -hmm. I pastor the teens and the youths in New Life Mission Church. Oh, oh. wait. New Life Mission Church? Yes. I've heard of that church. <laughs> Matthew. Mm. Matthew Jogu. Matthew mm. Jogu. Mm. Okay, now, Pasi, yes. Pastor Belek, tell us what, what is peer pressure? Uh, in, this first, in this 21st century, tell us briefly, what is peer pressure? Actually, peer pressure, those are two words. Mm. The first word is peer, the second word is yeah. pressure. Yes. So, a peer is a friend. Mm -hmm. A friend whom you are equal to in age mm -hmm. or equal to in skills. Mm. And pressure is a force mm. or an influence. So, peer pressure is an influence or a force ex ex exerted on an another person mm. from another person. Oh. Yes. So, so it is more of a force. Yes, yeah. an influence. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. How, how do you think um, peer pressure has affected this generation of the 21st century where there are youths, teens, and they, there are many evil things yeah. happening in the world today? How, how, how is it affecting peer pressure? And in fact, peer pressure affects, uh, to me, I see it uh, in two ways. Number one, it affects their self-esteem mm -hmm. and it takes away their identity. Oh my. Well, especially this. talking about identity and mm. self-esteem, mm. can you please expand on us? How is peer pressure affecting uh, the identity and uh, self-esteem? Mm. Your friends, your, your friend, uh, maybe he's brown colored, you are dark colored, no, and you... And you feel actually you are inferior mm? uh -huh. as opposed to uh, because you don't have a Rangia Thao. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh Rangia Thao. Rangia Thao is Rangia oh. Thao is a oh, yeah, I know. brown color. Brown. Super. So, su <laughs> all right. So, so actually, when, uh, when, you, uh, when, when you look at your friend and, uh, and because uh, he has a Rangia Thao and you, you are dark skin mm. colored, you feel like you are inferior to your friend. Mm. Or, 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 or maybe, maybe your, your friend uh, is good in, uh, in chemistry and you're not good uh, in chemistry. Mm -hmm. You feel that your friend is, uh, is, uh, is of higher quality than, than, than you are. In the real sense that uh, God has made us uniquely. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, even at the, our noses, your, no, your nose is uh, sharp. Yours is blunt. Mine, oh. <laughs> mine, uh, <laughs> mine is tall. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> it's tall. Wow, I, awesome. I, 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 I say, so God is a God of diversity. The God of what? And, uh, and he loves diversity. He loves uniqueness. Yes. So the moment I want to look like, look, look, look like, like my brother Timothy here, uh -huh. it will be trouble. It's trouble. <laughs> I, I, am, yeah. I am losing my identity. Mm. Oh, wow. I'm losing my identity. So, okay, Percy, tell us how, how, how I, why is it too much now in the generation that in the sense that teachers parents and, and pastors, as you are, yes. have affected this generation in uh, the peer pressure way. Actually, I say, you people, you are really blessed. Awesome. We're now, thank you. <laughs> I feel honored. flattered. Thank you. Let me use the term our previous uh, flattered. guy said, flattered. Uh, <laughs> why? I know, I know. I feel. Because you people, you are living in the information generation, mm -hmm. where information is everywhere. Mm -hmm. Information from uh, information at school, yeah. information uh, at home, mm -hmm. information on the roads, on billboards, mm -hmm. information on internet, yeah. on TV. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. so uh, the information that, that, that you receive will either affect you, will either affect you mm -hmm. positively or, or negatively. negatively. Oh my. Uh -huh. Whoa. Uh -huh. And in fact, Peer pressure doesn't, doesn't only affect the young people, even the older people. Oh, it also affects them. Yes. Even the old ones. Tell it, us about that. Even <laughs> I, as your pastor, sometimes oh. I, I'm affected with the, the peer pressure uh, because our people at my age, my age, mm. who, are, who are spinning very nice cars, oh. who have big, big, big houses. Hey. With limousines and um. all those big 
God. Some that we were with them, they call it another they are overseers. Uh -huh. And some tell me, Pastor, what are you doing uh, with, with the team? Just preaching. Just preaching to young people. And uh, I sometimes I feel mm. Mm. So, so affects me who are older. Yes. Well, yes. So, it, so if peer pressure even affects the older people. The older mm. people. So t uh, for the teens out there, we need to be encouraged because it also affects people no matter the age. No matter the age, wherever you are, mm. even, my, even my father, mm. he, he is now retired. What are your children doing? Wow. You know, I'm, you know wow. I may keep wondering, a retired person, how hey, can even how peer pressure it? affect? Yes. How is it? home is relaxing. <laughs> because you may wonder, ah, are they asking one another, hey, pension yako imetoka? Hey. Yangu ijatoka? Hey. Ah, he feels demoralized. <laughs> so, it is, it's, so there is a bigger thing beyond yes. that. <laughs> and, and as you grow older, the higher, the more the peer pressure is complicated. Uh, why? Yes. Why? Why? Why is if it that older, by yes. age, by age, age it is increasing? Uh, because your people at your age mm. who want to, who you want to identify with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it, all is the issue about of all is about of identification. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, Pasi, yes. um, tell us. You said it affects older people, yes. right? Mm. When tell us, give an an illustration of you when that one time that you felt your self esteem was down or your identity was so was diminished. It was tampered with yes, by tampered so with. much pressure. Mm. I am a trained pastor, uh -huh. and I, I had colleagues in my in the same university, in the same mm. college that, that, that I was going with. Yeah. That we were trained with. Mm. I finished in 2016, mm. and I meet this colleague, colleague, colleague of mine. Mm. He's now a pastor in a particular congregation. Wow. He's now spinning, oh. and uh, your pastor here uh, is <laughs> working on food. Oh. <laughs> and, if, and, and he loves his me down and tells ah, Kidia, how are you? <laughs> Tell him, okay, fine. And he asks me, what are you doing? I tell, okay, I'm a pastor, I'm a teens pastor mm -hmm. in your church. Wow. And now this, this this pastor of mine is is now an overseer mm. of, of almost forty years wherever he is. Whoa, whoa, wow. whoa! And I felt it's a big congregation. And I felt wow. Mm. Am I am I wasting my time with the teens? And I went home demoralized. Mm -hmm. how, how did you overcome <coughs> that? And now I hear that now my timing and his timing is different. Oh. Yes. Oh, wow. So that one now gives us one of the solutions to negative peer pressure. Mm. And when it becomes too high, we mm. as teens need to understand that mm. the timings are different. Mm. Times are different. Because we live in a dispensation of time. Yes. Mm. So you need to understand that this is my time mm. to have my to people. Have, yes. <laughs> this is your time to they will have theirs. Yes. 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 And we'll see what they will do about it. Mm. Yes. <laughs> well, you yeah. see, um, the youth outside, there are many of them. They're like they don't know. They don't know how to start from from peer pressure. Ni self esteem. Yes. They're down. Self -esteem their self esteem issues. is down. Mm. Their identity is down, and mm. they're so broken that mm. waking up is a problem. Mm. How would you advise them? How would you advise? big older people to help them or it's us who are older generation mm. we hold the hands of the mm. younger people mm -hmm. and we listen to them mm. we understand them in mm. that way we are able now to go to their level and talk to their mm. level yes well, to, speaking to, to, at to now their, their level ones. yes mm -hmm. oh wow mm. now when uh, now especially right now that you are uh, you are an older person yes and uh, it is uh, it is something great to talk to an older person mm. and tell us during your youth, mm. how was uh, peer pressure? How does it? How has it affected your current right now? The way the peer pressure, whether positive or negative, yes. during your youth and teenagehood, how has it affected you in the current times right mm. now that you see? Uh, now that you're look old, back, uh, mm. you look back and see. Mm. Yeah, it is out of this. During my time, mm -hmm. we used to fight who was the best girlfriend. Hey, whoa, hey. okay, <laughs> the most beautiful. Uh -huh. It's getting interesting mm. now. <laughs> And we, could, uh, uh, and we could want to brag uh, who was the best, the uh. brown color. And, uh, uh -huh. and uh, this also taught her, uh, this also gave us also courage on how even to approach ladies. Yeah. Mm. You people do you know how to approach ladies? Yes. Uh, well, I know, I may try, I can try. Yes, you we can try. try. Yeah, we especially can try. when the beards are growing. Uh, yeah. uh, Good thing you have beards. You in, my, in my time, oh my. <laughs> we, could even, we could even know how to tonga mistari. Oh, so you call me a chonga mistari? Give us one mistari. <laughs> the one that you, you are the only potato in my gideri. Hey. Hey. They hear that, they just want to eat gideri. No, I'm getting gideri. Take them out on a date for gideri. 
I can't sleep without you. Hey. Hey. And actually, I'm in You're my house. You're my potato. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> that one's, yeah. I'll try that one time. <laughs> <laughs> when you want them, I'll try that. No, that's when you bad. Grow, <laughs> when you grow up. <laughs> yes, uh, when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love yeah, that. Continue, continue. Uh-huh. Mm. So how, as in, the, yes, you're telling us. You're telling us how it has affected you. Yeah, I was a short young man. Oh. oh. Shut! Oh, the grievances are aired. Oh, I was a dwarf, mm. and girls and girls would like, run away from me because mm. uh, how could I approach a young lady? Tell her, you know, you are the um. They could tell me you, you are you are shut. I'm a dog. How did you even see me in the first place? <laughs> I love that. I love that. I actually, so I to encourage myself that mm. I am not ready for marriage. Oh. Whoa. So, you are just using it to steam yourself up. Mm. Yes. Oh. <laughs> when the right time comes, uh, I'll get the right, that woman. So, mm. uh, actually, I encourage myself and I say that now, I think this is not the right time for me mm. to date. Oh. Wow. So, now later it came to affect you. Yes. Even when I reached the age, age of to marry, mm. even approaching my, my, my now wife, it took me time. Uh, oh, it took you time. I got courage. When you know, you're my courage. potato in my gibber. I got courage. Did you use those vibes? Did, did you use those mysteries? <laughs> I knew they were lies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. So now, uh, your final remarks when it comes to the issue about, uh, about peer pressure. Mm. Can you give us your final remarks? Your identity matters. True. Know that you are unique and God wants to use you in your uniqueness. Yes. Don't ever compare yourself with others. Mm. We'll be missing the opportunity that God has given us, the point of being unique. Well, it has, it has been a great show. Pasi, welcome once again. Thank you. Take us off for a break. Uh, in a dance? Oh, uh, oh my, you want to dance? As you please! We are ready. Oh, bless you. I said, I will enter his gates with us. In the segment, we've been talking about peer pressure, whereby in our first segment, we did host Matthew Njogu. He was mm. able to expound on us yeah, about peer pressure, and he spoke a few things that were very vital. Yes. And I wish, watch, watch it again and again to get more insight on it. Mm. In the second segment, we had an older person who mm. was able to handle a few issues that may affect the previous generation, the current generation, and how much and how much effect it has to on him. Now, in this segment, we are going to also discuss another topic that also involves peer pressure, and this is the topic of music. Oh. And for this segment, we have one guy, mm-hmm. a sweet voice, mm-hmm. very good. Uh-huh. He's the tallest guy I know. Yeah, mm. and his name is David Hinga. Welcome, Welcome David Hinga to the show. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> David Hinga. Santi Sana. Welcome. Santi Sana. Have a seat. Thank you, thank you. Sir. How are you, David Hinga? I'm doing very fine. Naskia You're doing very fine. Naskia <laughs> How do you feel um, to be live on? Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit tensed. A little bit uh, tensed? Yeah. Because of? Tensed. Um, this is my first show. This is the first show that I've ever been in. Awesome. Wow, and awesome. we have the privilege of hosting you. Thank yes. you, thank you, you very much. To take thank you, thank you very <laughs> much. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, David, tell us who, uh, how music you make up like a hard. You make up a lot of music. Um, music has been a part of my life, uh-huh. though. Kitambo, when I was young, mm-hmm. yeah. I wasn't so much into music because I was. Everywhere, you know, I was a child. Yeah, so you're just so everywhere. yeah I was like everywhere. Everything. I was playing. <laughs> Actually, time. it was playing every time. Huh? <laughs> but I was growing up, going to high school. Mm-hmm. That was when I, I realized that I have passion for music, and that is when my like and my love for music annually <laughs> it exploded. Oh. And that is when I, I, I realized that I, I, I have was some. Was there anyone who inspired you, or it was just? You saw something, someone play something or sing, or how did you get inspired? You, you, Motisha. Uh, okay, my, my inspiration came from uh, my brother. Uh-huh. Um, he's he died uh, around 2008. He was my, he was and still is my inspiration. He, he was a, a hip hop artist, oh, wow. he used to oh. rap. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, and I remember uh, when I was young, I used to tell him that. Uh, we shall do these songs together. Is it important to find your But he died, so 
now I'm on this journey by myself, uh -huh. but of course with the help of my brothers and uh, my fellow servants Kwa Church. Awesome. Oh, wow. yeah. Which church is that? New Life Mission oh, Church. Oh, so you, you, you're under <laughs> Pastor Bellic? Yes, oh, yes, I'm under Pastor Bellic. <laughs> wow. it's, 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 it's quite good uh, to have you here, and as you talk about music and mm. your inspiration about music, mm. you know, it, no, it all narrows down to the definition of it. Because yeah. music is different to different people according to their definition. Yep. Mm. So now, according to you, what is music? Um... Uh, the basic English definition of music, I'd say, is a collection of sounds and vibrations and mm. vocals yes. mm. combined. Mm. They're combined to form this entity called music. Mm. But when it comes to now um, the biblical or the spiritual side of it, it, it is something different. Uh -huh. yeah. What is uh, that, that biblical side? I'd say it is, it is a language. Mm -hmm. It is a language of the spirit in where... Mm -hmm. um, the 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 singer is expressing the the his or her emotions to to a deity yes. yeah a deity yeah. wow deity <laughs> deity I love, I love the vocabulary of people from new life <laughs> <laughs> it's just wonderful yeah, 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 well yeah, tell us guy. um what impact does music have in the on the youth in this generation with peer pressure going on and uh, drugs and all these things how does it how has it affected the youth today i, w I wouldn't say that music is affecting only the youth no. but yeah. since that is just uh, a part of we are focusing on the youth mm -hmm. um music music has um, music is made up of waves of frequencies yes. yeah. but these frequencies have a, have an origin they have been crea they have been created from somewhere they came from somewhere you know mm. um Music originally, yeah. uh, God is the author of music. Oh. Uh, the first creature to ever be a musical creature mm. is the devil. Oh. The up there, he, up, uh, up there, he was he was known as Lucifer. Uh -huh. But when he was thrown down, you know, the title changed yeah. uh, because you you can't go with the things of God. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah. 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 So. Uh, mm, um, this this these frequencies mm. are, are, are backed up by spirits. Mm. spirits. Now let me give an instance. Yes, yes. We, we 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 have this secular world. Mm. Music is produced from every corner. From the uh, it is it is it is produced by religious people. Yeah, Actually, both all of them, uh, whether the Christians and non-Christians, they are religious because there is. There's, there's always a deity behind uh, or, or, a, or a God or a spirit behind mm. whatever they are doing, whether yeah. it is worshipping or not worshipping. Mm. There's always something behind her. Yes. So, that, so as, as, as these people express their emotions through music, mm. it is backed up by a spirit. Mm. So this spirit uh, is the one that um, creates an atmosphere for uh, affecting the, 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 the youth mm. or, and everyone in general yes, yep. yes, yes. so um that that is that we shall, let me give uh, let me let me use an example yes, yes, yes. it is it is very difficult mm. not not difficult it is impossible mm. for sin to 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 occur in a place where in a in a in a in a godly environment mm. very difficult mm. because of the 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 atmosphere exactly the atmosphere but this atmosphere has to be created by something mm. music is one of the things that creates that atmosphere oh. when it comes to seeing mm -hmm. um le let me give an example sex yes when people are in this act it is very it is impossible to find them um playing worship song in the <laughs> background <laughs> as they are in the act exactly it is very impossible yes. because this music creates an atmosphere a godly yes. atmosphere that cannot um give this uh give give privilege to sin to uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. especially when you're talking about music and uh, the spiritual accept of it mm. you've mentioned something that uh, even in heaven itself there is music yep mm. yep it is and uh, there, w there was once a time a friend of mine once told me that music are simply words mm. and beats yeah and it becomes music the moment there is a spirit backing it now, considering the 21st century mm -hmm. and how mm -hmm. things, the trends are going, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
how do you see what is the mega effect that that this uh, spirit or whatever the music impact of it when it comes to the writing to the directing to the shooting and mm. all these things how is it affecting how people are able peers are able to interact with one another yeah. in, the, in this generation uh, so music has 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 a lot of there's a lot of th there are a lot of things that are factors that um, aid in the creation of music mm -hmm. uh, uh, there's words yes. which lyrics of course yes. and then there's the beat part of it beats part of it and then instrumentals that is mm -hmm. and then there's the spiritual part of it you know oh, yes. so mm, information is power uh -huh. music plays a part in creating this information okay. so when a person is singing something mm. or producing something they are producing part of their mind or or they are they are, they are giving someone a piece of their mind yes. so the in in short when akupatia information uh, an example again, mm -hmm. you know there are many genres in music. Yes. Kuna, there is reggae, hip hop, jazz, mm. yeah. um, as in there are so many genres, yes. rock. Yes. Yeah. So it, it all depends with the, um, what, what do I like? Mm. Well, it, is, it, it comes to that point. Mm. You see, apart from say, someone who does drugs, most of the time, especially people from um, the, the non-developed areas, mm. ghetto especially, yeah. Uh, you'll find them listening to reggae music. Mm. Reggae music. Mm. What, 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 what do these people uh, pass? What kind of information do they pass? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, it's making sense. It's, it's no uh, up, eh? yeah, yeah, it, uh, so, um, the kind of information that they pass, mm. um, I, I, I listen to the music wo which I want to listen to depending on the information that they are giving me or the information I want. So if I want to listen, if, if I'm doing drugs, there's no way I can listen to a song that is talking about women. Wow. I like drugs. Mm. I love drugs. So, you look for so I look for songs so that talk about these the things. songs you're listening to will affect the people interacting. Exactly. Wow. So now when you look at now the, the impact of uh, this, we've heard of uh, the, current, the current wave that is coming in and mm. they are calling it Genge Talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now what is your take for this thing? Because it is a... The truth is, we cannot ignore it. Yeah, we may try to talk about so many things about music in general, yes. mm. but this specifically when it comes to Gengeton mm. and such, mm. we cannot ignore it. Yes. What, what is your take about Gengeton, mm. generally as it is? I think they, they're simply passing information. And information is not just uh, picking, picking words. and Information is who you are. They are giving mm. us a piece, a piece of their mind. Yes. Uh, they are telling us how they live. They are telling us of their character, their nature. And they also want us to live there. Uh, exactly. Way. So, um, uh, most, of the, most of the songs that are, you know, in this genre called Gengeton, mm. they, are, they are talking about sex, uh, drugs, yeah. stealing, you know. Yeah. Th there is a right. theme. Yes. Yes. And, th and that is the theme. It, it is a recurring thing. Mm. But there is a spirit behind it. There's a spirit behind it. Ah. <coughs> uh, it, it just comes to the... It narrows down to choice. Oh. You choice. know? Back to it, choice. It, it, it cannot affect me uh. if, I choose, if I choose not to allow it to affect me. Mm -hmm. You know? No, no? Yeah. So um, that is what I'd say concerning this. That, 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 that well, get one and David, tell yeah. us. Um, you say, you've said you sing, right? Have you written any songs or... Uh, uh, yes, I've written. Uh, I've uh -huh. written two songs. Uh -huh. Two, uh, awesome. two songs. Mm -hmm. I've done two songs, mm -hmm. but um, one of the two songs has not been. Yet, uh, I've not yet received it from the producer oh, okay, um, okay. because there was, you know, Corona happened. Uh, oh, corona. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Corona. sabotaged so many things. <laughs> yeah, it, it, uh, ili, ili because he was he was in the process of mi mastering. It's mm. called oh. mastering, yeah, yeah. so that. It, he can come up with the final product. Oh. Yeah, so uh, it. exactly. So, but you've done another one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Can you give us a, just a line, just yeah. one, as we <laughs> conclude, uh, as we conclude this segment? Mm. Just give us a line. Um, I, I'll just, I'll just give the chorus. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll just give you the chorus. Mm, the chorus goes like. Uh, Inua mikono weka juu sema ra na kurudi nyuma na kata na kata. Satan is a loser from the king by far. By far. Satan is the loser from the king by far. Awesome. By far. Hey, like and now with that we are going like to that. go 
we, we, we are going to go to our next segment as we excuse our our, our beloved uh, guest today, that mm. is uh, David. Thank you very much for chilling out with us today on our show today, uh, that is Tile Show. Mm. It, tile is, it me, simply means teens, teens youth live episode. Watch out for the next segment. Oh, yeah, edition, yeah. not episode. I'm very edition. sorry. This was our first episode, our, our debut episode. Mm. Watch out debut. for the next much, much more yet to come. Mm. I've been your guy, Zachary Amwegai. And I've been your mate, Timothy Mashari. See Watch you next out. time.